Hey everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm just gonna do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Let us say a quick blessing and we'll find out if this is your story or not. Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. Alrighty, uh, we're gonna start with this Deviant Moon Tarot. Find out how you guys are doing today. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Cups on the other side. you got to be kidding me. Ten of Pentacles can be a windfall of money. The Ace of Cups can be um, a new love relationship coming towards someone. It can also be a renewal of um, self-love. Yeah, and unconditional love for oneself. All good things. Let's see. I have the seven of pen. I got the hanged man in the reverse, and I got the seven of pentacles on its side crossing that. The hanged man is the card of Pisces, all right? Um, when we have that energy in the reverse, we have somebody here who's waiting. They're waiting for somebody else to take the first step. They're waiting for somebody else to take action. And it feels like they've been waiting for a long time with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is all about waiting to see if the seeds that you have planted are going to come to fruition. However, specific to this Deviant Moon Tarot, it feels like every single moment is agony waiting on this person to either reach out or... Um, to do something. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to clarify with another deck in a minute. Let's see. I have the Knight of Wands on its side. That's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, specifically Sagittarius. Um, but fire sign energy here it doesn't have to be those zodiac signs, but it might be of significance to you. The Knight of Wands is someone who typically is a real action taker. Usually they see something that they want, they go after it, they ask questions later. Right now, this person is. Um, kind of in an unnatural state for themselves. They're used to being a go-getter. Now they're having to wait. Now they're having to pump the brakes because they're waiting on somebody else. I have the lovers in the reverse. No. All right. Um, that's the card of Gemini. But the lovers is all as a card of choice. It feels like a love relationship has fallen apart here for somebody. And it feels like it's left someone on the hook here. Either this um, Pisces energy or this fire sign energy. Doesn't have to be again. But it's somebody who's waiting now for somebody else to fix the situation. We got the four of wands. Of course we do. Um, the four of wands is that twin flame 1111 awakening card. It's a divinely guided soulmate union. What's that? And I got the Six of Cups, of course we do. Um, this Four of Wands is the energy of being on the right track, being in the right place at the right time, and finding the exact right person for you. This person knows that you're the right person for them, or vice versa, and that's where the um, agony is in this situation. It feels like, oh no, we got a whole we got a whole situation here, kids. With this Six of Cups right here, this is past life love. This is again another soulmate um, card, soulmate, soulmate, soulmate energy here. Um, this Six of Cups is someone that you've either known for a long time. Um, maybe for lifetimes, on and on and on. Or this would be somebody that you've grown up with, somebody that you've spent a lot of your life with, someone you would intend to spend a lot of your life with. Something, check any of those boxes, all right? Let me get a couple more out with this deck and then we'll clarify. Perfect. Ah! Okay. Well, somebody in this scenario is highly independent or they're about to be. I don't know what has happened here in the past, but I have um, with the Page of Wands energy, that's Aries energy here. We got a lot of fire sign energy down here on this bottom half. Um, but we, with, with the Page of Wands, we have someone who wants to start something up. They want to start a conversation. They want to open up a door. They want, there's, the, the Page of Wands is a flirt, if nothing else. They're very curious. They're an instigator. They're someone who pokes at somebody. Um, this person wants to reach out with a message of flirtation to someone else, but they're waiting. They're waiting until they have the go ahead from somebody else here. It's, it's, this is like a, this is a situation of not so much miscommunication, but a lack of communication in some way. I don't know what's happened here. I'm going to find out. But we have right here with the Nine of Pentacles, this is the Minor Arcana of the Empress card, which is an, it's, it's kind of, um, 
you know, it's one of our divine feminine energies here. But the Nine of Pentacles is someone who is newly single or about to be newly single. This person may have been in a relationship with someone else. You may have been in a relationship with someone else. And this person is waiting to find out if that is still the case uh, or vice versa. Or this is somebody who is recognizing someone else's um, abilities, someone else's... Um, independent qualities all right let's look let's look a little further here what do we want to use to clarify we are going to use this tarot of wonderland real quick bottom of the deck i have the queen of wands oh i got the king of wands on the bottom there and i got the judgment card i got the ace of swords the strength card ah, i'm gonna put those back in because i don't want to see that <laughs> it's, it's the seven of swords right now i got the king of swords here I'm going to leave those alone for a second, and if they're meant to come out, they will, and if they aren't, then they won't. Um, so we have uh, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. We have a true pair here on the board, um, maybe dealing with two fire signs here. Uh, these two individuals, when they are in a good position, when they're in a healthy place, extremely magnetic, extremely sexually passionate um, relationship here. I think that these two have known one another before. I don't know what happened that took them away from each other, but there's been some kind of a major wake up call here for both of them in some way. And it's left somebody wanting to say something. It's left somebody wanting to reach out and send a message with that Ace of Swords. Specific to this Tarot of Wonderland, this is sending a message. It really is. It's about digital communication, fast moving communication. And I have the Strength card here, which is again the card of Leo. You may be dealing with a fire sign, possibly a Leo um, in this scenario. But this Strength card is someone who is trying to get over their insecurities. They're trying to get over their fears and just push the send button already. Ready. Okay, let's slide that aside over here because I want to know what's happened, why we have somebody in this state of waiting here with this hangman energy. I got the justice card out. That's the card of Libra, but that is the card of legal matters. This person may be going through a divorce. Um, this person may be um, in the midst of some kind of courtroom drama, maybe in the midst of, um, this person may be a Libra for one thing, um, or there may have been a situation that came up during Libra season for these two individuals. I feel like though it's really, an, I, I, this, mm, Three of Cups in the reverse. That's what it is. Um, this person didn't want to involve themselves or involve you in a third party situation or or it's possible that you were involved in a third party situation here in some way. It feels like um, you haven't talked to this person in a while, which is why we have this Ace of Swords, which is why we have the Hanged Man in the reverse and why we have this Seven of Pentacles here on its side. Um, we have a lack of communication. We have somebody here who's waiting on somebody else to talk to them, basically. Um, and it's possible that the reason they haven't been talking is because they're waiting on some kind of divorce to follow to finalize and they don't want to put somebody in a third party situation here I think that's very wise I think that's very very wise um, I have the Two of Pentacles that comes out in the upright position. Very good sign. Um, two of Pentacles is about finding balance. Very good. Um, this person for some time hasn't been able to um, open up energetically enough to have someone else in their life. It looks like they've been busy. It looks like they may have had another relationship, possibly even a whole other marriage, a whole other life or something that they needed to clear up some kind of issue here. What's this lovers in the reverse? And it feels like they're just now, uh, hold on. I have the five of swords. Uh, oh, um, there's been a lot of talk and gossip about this situation or this, they were fearing that in some way. They may have been trying to keep you safe. Somebody may have been trying to keep somebody safe from this. Five of Swords is kind of a win at all costs energy. It's also somebody who feels like they have to be right. It can also be the energy of slander and again, gossip, people saying unkind things about someone behind their backs. 
Um, and it kind of leaves people wondering, like, what's the real truth here? What actually happened here in this situation? Um, there's, it's a real energy of um, gossip amongst a friend group or something like that. It feels like this person may have wanted to shield someone from that. More about this Ace of Pentacles in a minute. Um, they also have been trying to get themselves um, rebalanced. This person is someone who is all of a sudden having to do a lot. Um, let's clarify that a little bit further here too. Um, I have the star card in the reverse. This is someone who's had to um, rearrange their entire lives recently. This person may have had to move house. This person had to definitely um, reconcile themselves to the fact that their life was not going to look the same way any longer. And that is a tough row to hoe, right? Um, that's someone who has to admit a lot of failures to themselves or quote fa failures, you know, I mean, it's not really a failure. It's a, it's a learning experience every time we go through some kind of major change here, which it looks like this person is. Um, You may have also had an argument with this person at some point with this Five of Swords. Because the Five of Swords can be like verbal bullying. It can also be um, like verbal altercation with someone. In any case, this left whatever happened here, if, if, there, if there was an argument between the two of you, it left one of you scratching your head saying, I'm, uh, what just happened? Um... I have the Ace of Cups out. Very good. That was in that pre-shuffle energy when I split the deck. This Ace of Cups is a brand new love opportunity. And it feels like both of these individuals are now ready. And there are, there's like, it's like, off to the races kids whatever this is that this person has cleaned up there's they may have ended a situation during libra season they may have finalized a divorce during libra season they may have initially started that process i don't know what's happened um but there is definitely someone who has um created a sense of independence in their life and they are ready now that's interesting i love that um this ace of cups is so great um this is the tarot of wonderland by barbara moore the reason it's so great to me is because it's not just one cup that represents the Ace of Cups here in this deck. It actually has two cups within the Ace of Cups because the Ace of Cups is only, um, it's only the real deal if you exchange your cup with someone else who gives you something in return. You want to actually have two individuals who each have a full cup. Otherwise, somebody's going to be thirsty all the time, right? We don't want to be thirsty. We want to be we want to be full and replenished. Very good. I believe the word is satiated. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody who feels like, and this is, again, Captain Word failure, um, but this person feels quite exhausted by everything that they've been through. They know that they've let everything fall apart, but they're almost... Um, I, they're, it's almost like with a chuckle that they say, well, we've done screwed everything up. Time to start all over again. Time to look in a new direction. Time to look in the direction I knew I was always supposed to look in the first place. All right. Um, that's why we have this soulmate energy here. This is why we have somebody who's on track. We have somebody who may be um, moving into a new home. They may be um, restructuring their lives. This person may have children um, from a previous relationship or a marriage or something like that. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, though, and you've got two Ace, you've got three Aces out here. You've got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is a brand new beginning for someone here, and it looks like really it's for two people here. One person has a plan and the other person doesn't know about the plan, okay? There's somebody here who's trying to manifest an opportunity for conversation here and it feels like it's it's right now. It feels like it's time is up. There are a lot of images of clocks on these um, cards and I was noticing them earlier today when I first started this reading. Um, a lot of um, timing um, symbolism here. And with the Ace of Pentacles, as you know, if you watch any of my readings, it's my favorite card to get in any reading, whether it's love, career, financial, family, whatever. The Ace of Pentacles is, it's healthier than the Ace of Cups even, because the Ace of Pentacles is something that's a solid deal. It's something that's authentic to you. It's something that it's, it's like a seed. If you plant it, it is certain to grow into something 
much bigger and much greater than what it was that you started with. This is a very good sign. This person is um, ready now. They're just, it's like a matter of time. They're waiting until they have an opportunity to see you in person, to talk to you, to, uh, what is it? Let's see. I feel like this person wants to send a message. There's that seven of swords. Remember I said, I'm going to put these back in the deck when I first started, before I even started the reading, before I started pulling cards with this deck. I said, here's the queen of wands. There's the king of wands. We got the judgment. We got the strength card. We got da, 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 da. And I said, I'm going to put this one back in. If it's supposed to come out, it will. And it did. And that's the seven of swords. And this guy, he gets such a horrible reputation for being the lying liar who lies. He's always trying to sneak off with something. He's trying to do something in a sneaky way here. This person is trying to do something so that they go unnoticed. This person is, um, quite honestly, it has not gone unnoticed. Their attraction towards this other person to whoever their counterpart is here. And I don't know if this is your story or if this is, if you're on the flip side of this, um, but someone here has had kind of, I don't know if it's a secret attraction or something they've kind of had to keep on the down low. Um, it feels like it has not gone unnoticed by the people around them. Maybe that's why they're so fearful of this um, kind of gossipy energy here. Maybe they know they have exposed you to this and they don't want that to happen further. They definitely don't want a third party situation of any kind with this three of cups in the reverse. It's possible that you may have been engaged with that already at some point, ended it because of whatever reason, and they don't want that to happen again. This person, um, may have been watching you from a distance, like as in online, something like that. Um, maybe watching any social media pages that you post to or something like that. Um, but they, they think they're being very sneaky, but if you notice in this card, this is the, the depiction is the, the knave of hearts. He stole some tarts, right? And while he thinks he's getting away with everything, he is leaving a trail behind him or her. Um, it's traceable is what I'm hearing. That's probably why we have this situation. That's probably why we have a lack of communication here. Mm. Five of Cups that comes out on its side. Um, there's also a concern. If you have been involved with this person before, and obviously you have in some capacity, um, this person is fearful of things going the same way that they did the last time. There was some kind of ending here between the two of you. That's why we have this lovers in the reverse energy. And there is a real fear of repeating the same pattern again. And I think that's why we've had some hesitation here. You've got a couple of fives here. Fives indicate chaos and conflict that are necessary for change and growth. Okay. But that's never comfortable. Six of Swords, this person's also been waiting for a physical relocation. Like I was saying with that Four of Wands, this person may have recently moved into a new home. They may be um, restructuring their entire lives. They may be setting up new habits. They may have a different commute to work these days. They may have a different routine with their children or with their laundry schedule. I don't know. But this person is rebuilding in some way and it could involve an actual physical relocation for one of you. You could end up moving in together. And I got the page of wands literally on top of the page of wands here. Um, again, this page, and it's in the upright position now, that's good. This person is going to reach out and they're going to send you a message of curiosity or flirtation. All right. Now, what are you going to do with that? That's the question. Because this page of wands, he is such an instigator. He, she, whatever. Whoever's going to send this message, they have the intention of starting some kind of conversation here. And I guarantee you it's a flirtatious one. I know you say, I know. I'm aware. Um, let me see this vice versa tarot. Let me get the four of cups out there again. Um, four of cups can be an energy of self-isolation. This person is still kind of reeling from what they've been through. Look at that. I got the six of swords right there too. Um, again, physical relocation. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of a sudden my throat's all clogged up. 
And I have the Nine of Pentacles out there again. Uh, we're going to just get repeat cards here from now on. But um, previous to this, this and this person is not all the way freed up. Um, this is where they're headed, but I think that they're not out of the woods yet. I think they're still going through the process of, if this is a divorce, they're still going through the process, which is why they are still kind of not um, hitting that send button. Um, but there's... There's still some fear here about what this new future is going to hold for them. And there is also a fear of them being let down by whoever this um, Nine of Pentacles pre-Empress energy is here. There's a fear of um, what if I get back into a relationship that looks the same as the one I've just extracted myself from. It makes sense. I have the seven of wands. Yeah, this is somebody who is not interested in anything that they've been through in the past. This person has had to deal with a lot of drama from past partners. This is not um, something that's going to work for them anymore. There's also an understanding that when they come towards you or you towards them, whatever, when this comes together, there's an understanding that it may rattle some chains of the people around them. There, there could be some discord in a friend group or a family group about this. Possibly from an ex-partner. Yeah, I have the five of wands on the top there. It's like an explosive situation. Lots of fives. I have the Queen of Pentacles um, with their back turned. Um, this is, quite honestly, this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. And I was thinking to myself, this is possibly going to rattle the chains of the person that this person is leaving behind. Um, this person may be, that person may be Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Interestingly enough, though, there are a lot of similarities between both of these partners these and this potential partner. And you see the rabbit down there in the bottom of each one of these. There's a rabbit here, and there's a little rabbit down there. Yeah. Rabbits are symbols of fertility. King of Swords on the in the upright position on the top of the deck there. It feels like this person is ready to take action. They're ready to talk. They're ready to have a big conversation. It's just... They're having a lot of fear-based emotions about reaching out, and a lot of it is protecting um, the person that they're interested in. Um, they don't want to cause any drama. They don't want to incite a riot from anyone. Um, they want to keep this person safe. But there is a real curiosity as to how, and there's they're, and, and they're very concerned about how you will receive them once they do hit that send button. I can tell you, I wish I could reassure them um, but they're probably not the one, ones watching this. Um, this, this is an honest, honest to God match here with this king and queen of wands and with all of this soulmate energy here, especially with this, uh, four of wands here, that twin flame divine counterpart dynamic. And I got the four of wands to clarify the four of wands. Oh, I love you guys. You're geniuses. Um, when you guys are, when you guys give me the repeat cards, especially immediately like that, that just tells me how clear your energy is. Repeat cards mean important energy to your story. The four of wands, twin flame, 11, 11, divine counterpart, divine soulmate, um, union. All right. It's a very stabilizing force, um, in someone's life here. This is like a joining forces. This is something that will grow into something much greater. The twin flame dynamic is really not about two people coming together. It's about, um, uh, the evolution of the human soul globally, really. Um, and so when these two individuals come together, not only does it create a power couple, it creates a power couple. Someone, uh, it's a couple of, folks that come together and really change the dynamic of 
the evolutionary structure of the human soul, all right? And the way that we deal with one another, the way that we um, work with one another as a collective whole. But when it comes to their day-to-day -day life, it takes a lot to get these two people together and be at the right place at the right time in their lives. Um, there's a lot of gears that have to move into place to bring these two together. But this is clearly a union time for someone. Possibly this um, fire sign energy here, you, if you're an Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, and you have had this feeling that this um, counterpart was on their way to you. And one of you has known this for a while because you've got this heavy manifestation energy with this three of wands. Um, and it looks like you've both kind of known this for some time. You got a lot of soulmate energy here. Um, when the two of you come together, you're going to know it. There's a heavy emphasis on magnetization and recognition of one another. It's like as soon as you meet each other, as soon as you looked into one another's eyes, you recognize each other. Um, that's the that's the beauty of the twin flame dynamic, right? Um, this will be a very um, passionate relationship and it will... Um, I don't know. It's going to unlock a lot of things within these two individuals. I wish you very much luck with this. If this was your reading, I don't know. I'm This person's not quite ready. Look, we got the three of wands right there on the top of the deck. Me not even paying attention. And look, the wheel of fortune, that's the card of Sagittarius right there. But that is the card of timing. It's the tar card of divine timing. This person has been manifesting you. You have been manifesting this person. Like I said, magnetization. There it is. The three of wands is the minor arcana of the magician interestingly enough the magician is depicted on this um, wheel of fortune card right um all righty off to the races kids uh, it really really is kind of an exciting time if this is your reading i can't wait to see how this goes i hope we can hook into this storyline soon i'm gonna cut you loose i'm starting to lose my voice for absolutely no reason all right see you soon have a great day